<laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. The it's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Juicy. It's so juicy. You fell, Rick. <laughs> it was so juicy. I bowed down to it. Social distancing. Six feet. It's not from myself. Stay away from I'm yourself, Rick. Oh no, I'm constantly touching myself. Oh, Wait, my what? Wait, and what? Take a on Patreon, right. follow the official Twitter account, ring the bell, do follow the notification squad. <gasps> Bang! It's bellyacious. It is. And today, from uh, what day? Uh, something of quarantine. Uh, we day are... three, four uh, for India, and day twelve, thirteen for us. Uh, but yeah, so lots of people ask us to react to this. It's about it's called India imposes the world's biggest coronavirus uh, lockdown, which I believe I heard was the biggest country to ever lock down. Uh, well, it would make sense. They're they've got a billion. They're like f nearly four times the size of us. Yeah. Um, so this is a video about that. And so I mean, we we know we uh, we I've heard a bunch about it, um, and so I'm assuming. We'll know a little more, but we'll know what you're going through right now because <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you've seen them all asking. They're like they ask us to drop like five videos a day because they're stuck I know. At home. And I'm like, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> One, YouTube won't send you out those notifications, so you're not. Yeah, even we gonna, know that. You're not even going to be able to see it if we do. But India has become the latest and largest country to introduce a nationwide lockdown. I like his voice against the coronavirus. Its population of 1.3 billion has been told to stay at home. Billion. The country has so far seen about 560 confirmed cases and 11 deaths. And there are fears no. that infections could spread quickly in densely populated urban areas. Crowds formed at pharmacies and shops shortly before the midnight deadline. Non-essential businesses Stay have been away from people! Most flights and rail services have been stopped. And the busy Bollywood film industry has ground to a halt. Did you see she was Prime coughing? Minister Narendra Modi said without the 21-day lockdown, the country could be set back 21 years. So let's uh, join DW correspondent Nimisha Jaiswal in Delhi. Welcome, Nimisha. Are people abiding he has a great by voice. these new restrictions? Well, Phil, to a large extent, yes. People have not been coming out on the streets as much as they normally would have. The Sunday voluntary curfew was huge. Dang! With reports of millions staying put. It's not quite as empty well, as the streets. Wow! Mumbai, people are allowed to step That's out Mumbai or Delhi. essential services, but there are police wow. checkpoints across the city that are preventing Holy people cow. who are not either rendering or accessing essential no, services no horn honking. from stepping out. That's However, insane. It's also important to think about the fact that there are many amongst the urban poor who are actually trying to get back home. Now, transport yeah, services yeah. are largely shut down, buses, trains, yeah. as well as flights. However, many are still trying to make their way back to their home states because they're daily wage earners and they cannot sustain themselves. Yes. They cannot afford life in the city anymore. And we went to find out how exactly these people are managing walking large distances in their efforts to get home even though they are closed. This is the report. Don't these touch people, people are violating a lockdown. Delhi has closed its borders. No buses, trains or flights can leave. Oh, the states are locked down. These migrant yeah. workers are determined to get home. Many earn just a daily wage. And with businesses shut, they cannot afford life in the city anymore. With public transport reduced, Devraj has walked many kilometers with his family, putting them at risk of exposure. He's scared, but he says he has no option. They aren't letting me work. That's the problem. I have young children. They're hungry. Who do I ask for help? We've been struggling for four days. The Delhi government has announced some relief measures for the poor. But these workers don't feel reassured. I can wait to find out if the government will give me money. But how am I supposed to eat until then? And what if they don't? Oh, dang. Away from the bus stop, the city lies deserted. Those who can afford to are staying home. Checkpoints like this one have been established across the city. The police is ensuring that only those who are rendering essential services are allowed to be out. 
The government has also said that violators of the lockdown can face legal action. Mm. Grocery stores remain open. Some are only allowing a limited number of shoppers in. This one says masks are necessary as is sanitizing your hands before entering. India has been paralyzed by these measures, but health experts are throwing their weight behind the lockdown. If India can fight this together for two weeks, we definitely would have prevented the curve from going up and made it flat. All that we need to do is to prevent the curve from going the Italy way. Because if that happens in India, the results will be much worse than what happened in Italy. The Indian Prime Minister has appealed to migrant workers to stay put and avoid infecting their families back home. But for many, that risk is far more distant than being trapped away from home during this lockdown. The Misha, the poor always suffer worst in these uh, crises. Tell us more about how the government is trying to help these migrant workers. Well, Phil, the government has formed an economic task force with the finance minister at its helm to find out exactly what would be the best route forward to address the economic crisis that is sure to beset the country as a result mm. of this lockdown. Just yesterday, some regulatory and fiscal measures were announced. In addition, the government has asked all states to send funds to send to add money to the bank accounts of construction workers, one of the main constituents of the daily wage workers. But they are not the only ones and we would have to wait and see how exactly the government is going to ensure that in the midst of a lockdown, officials can still make their way out and ensure that these daily wage workers and the poorest of the poor in the country are continuing to get meals and sustenance during this lockdown. Thanks for that. Namisha Jaiswal in Delhi. Oh. Wow. I did not know about the, the the ones who were in a different state that are trying to get to their home state. Yes. Because that's massive. For example, in Calcutta, um, a huge number of the, the day earners uh, that do everything from fixing shoes to rickshaw drivers, uh, they're they don't live they're not city dwellers in calcutta they live in the surrounding rural areas and what they do is they come in to the city work and then bring their earnings back because they can make a lot more in a city like calcutta but there's no public transit right now so and there's not even if there was public no, transit probably shouldn't be on it. there's yeah number one they shouldn't be on it number two even if they're in the city, there's nobody out there to, for them to rickshaw drive for or fix shoes or do anything for. Yeah. So these daily earners, I, I've actually reached out to several people because I want to support and talk about the organizations that are actually on the ground that you can give to and the majority of your money is going to go to them. Do you know I've been doing some research. I've, I, I've, narrow, I've narrowed it down to like three or four um, from people we know there that we trust who actually give to them and can verify. Gotcha. So I would say in, in, I started this 48 hours ago and I'm confident like by tomorrow I should know pretty well which ones are, are good ones to support that are actually, so that you know the money that you're giving to them is actually getting on the ground and those resources are getting to people. Because as you know, Corbin, there, after like for example 9-11, there were a bunch of hoax organizations that popped up. Yeah, you can't trust and, anybody. You cannot trust people right now. If you've given to ones like if St. Jude was coming up with something here in the States, I'd give to them instantly because I've been giving to them for years. I know what they do with their money. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's a huge, huge issue one for the, the daily wage earner. One of the most shocking things was the empty streets because as once again, we're not there anymore. For those of you who still don't know, uh, yeah, we've been <laughs> we've been we've been back home for over two and a half weeks now. Uh, no, just under two. weeks. Now two weeks, just yeah, under two weeks. two weeks, just under two weeks. Um, and so we, but coming from we went to Delhi and Mumbai to see those empty streets. Like coming from there, where they were just full to the brim, <laughs> and people yeah, yeah. leaving in and out, and there was one person on the road. What? <laughs> That's insane, and I, I totally didn't realize that this. I guess it makes sense if the entire thing's locked down that the states would be locked down themselves. Uh, yeah. And, and which is something obviously the United States has not done as of yet. 
Uh, it might it might be too late for that even um, for, for the way New York is going right now. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's one of the things I'm wondering if they're going to do to New York, shut it down so people can't go get out, basically. Yeah, as far as crossing the borders and stuff. If I was a governor of a neighboring state, I would say you can't come in for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's it's uh, it's crazy how it's affecting the entire world and that we like missed all the craziness by like days. Uh, I was talking about that to Indrani the other day. Literally, if Days. our trip had been one week different, um, we would number one, we'd be in India still. Yeah, trying to. We'd be there in the. We'd be stuck. Uh, and everything that we had wanted to do oh, would have been canceled. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was great, and 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 the fact that we got out of it and everybody was healthy. Uh, yeah, from our bellies to our lungs, and so that's great. Uh, yeah, and and, if, and one of the things, if you guys don't know this and you're not hearing about this, I, I'm sure you are because stupid babies aren't stupid, ironically. But one of the most critical things about the stay-at-home order is this fact. So, yes, I know the statistics. People who are my age, younger, Corbin's age, who have no underlying health conditions, you actually can get this virus and not even know you had it. Yeah. This thing is this thing is most dangerous for the elderly and the people with underlying health conditions. Now, that's not to minimize the risks of all people, but that's the reality. So for me, it's it's it, if you feel like you're a young person or you're a healthy person and you think I'm not at risk, please keep this in mind. You may not be at risk, but you could actually be carrying it, yeah. not know it, and give it to somebody else that it could kill. So yeah. that's the main reason everybody should yeah. social distance and stay away. I think I think pe young people don't understand. Like one, I think cer certain people are assuming that young people just can't get it. That that's not no, what, it's that's a lie. Not what anybody's saying. Everyone can Correct. get it. Everybody could get they're it. They're saying the people most at risk of being a severe sickness are the people with underlying health conditions or uh, yes. immunocompromised. Like my wife, when she was younger, she was sick all the time. And so uh, we're glad our current, our, our baby is, is not like that. But um, she was sick all the time. And she she's usually, if there's something going around, she'll get it. But there's like people that have like, you know, cancer. Or the people that yeah. have like di like uh, uh, hardcore diabetes, uh, or obviously elderly as well, or asthma. Yeah, yeah, there's millions of people with an underlying health condition. And those are the people that it can affect worse. But it, you correct? Like everyone can get affect in in infected. Oh, it's like <laughs> it's like any any flu virus. Anybody can get it, and that's the, they were saying here yesterday on our local news that I listened to that some of the doctors who work here in L.A. are pretty confident that this had gotten to L.A as long ago as maybe late December. Yeah. But people thought they had the flu. Yeah. They didn't realize what they had was COVID-19. Uh, so, I'm yeah, that's the, the main thing for the social distancing is obviously if you're elderly or have an underlying health condition, you're protecting yourself. But for everybody else, it's an act of love. You're protecting everybody else by not going out. I was wondering why, Cal I mean, California and all Los Angeles are hit, and we do have numbers that are probably even greater than India. But in comparison to what New York is going through right now, uh, I know yeah, I New, was, New York's I was, the hub. Yeah, I was wondering why that was so much different because we're a huge city. But I think it's because one, New York is much more cramped together everybody mm -hmm. and also their transit mm -hmm. systems since we have no transit yeah. system here <laughs> absolutely yeah well, there's 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 it's not a surprise that la and new york are the hot spots right now because we're the international hubs yeah and we are the international hub for asia they're the international hub for, for europe. europe yeah and you are absolutely right manhattan is stacked Mm -hmm. And their rapid transit system is on top of each other. Mm -hmm. And nobody drives around in cars over there. They get in taxis and Ubers. So they're constantly sharing cars. So if somebody had COVID-19 and got into a cab, anybody else who gets in that cab could have gotten it. Yeah. And we've seen the biggest spikes in Europe. Like Italy. So, is there all yeah. the transit system, same thing. Exact. So the New York, it's a lot of Europeans. So it's it's not a surprise yeah. 
it's not a surprise you're hearing it in New York and LA and you're not hearing it in, in Montana and Arkansas. Yeah. There's a reason that's happening. But stay safe, India. Stay safe, the entire Yeah, we love Wherever you, you are in the world, obviously this is affecting the entire globe like we've never seen before. Uh, and so everybody stay away from each other, wash your hands, and stop kissing people. Just, just don't, don't, don't kiss people. 